Hi, I'm over to All Seeing Camera. We are back to the channel with another one with our favorite show. I told you guys it's my favorite video to do. I inform y'all. I also inform myself. The weekly Supreme Copper Drop. This week, we're looking into week 14. Week 14 this week, bro, drops Friday. Let's see how many. I'm going to take a, five seconds. It drops Friday. In those five seconds, y'all all knew why it dropped Friday. Yo, I saw it drop Friday. I was bugging. I was like, yo, I know the 26th is Friday. Why don't get Supreme coming out Friday? I didn't even think about nothing. I was just so confused. Like, why are they coming out Friday? I'm going through the calendar to make sure that the 26th is Friday. It was Friday. I was just saying, here, like, yo, I can't even do a video. Because I don't know what I'm going to tell them. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. You want to know why it's coming out Friday? Because, <laughs> yeah, I know. I hope some of y'all know. It's Thanksgiving on Thursday. That's how you know I'm way too busy with work. Getting ready for some other videos we about to do right now, bro. I don't even know the holidays coming up. I don't even know the holidays coming up. Yes, it's Thanksgiving Thursday, so Supreme is not dropping Thursday. They're going to be dropping Friday. If you're looking out for this week's drop, big collab, big collab, big collab. Two collabs, actually, this week. Two collabs this week. If you're looking for any of the drops this week, do not wait on Thursday at 11 a.m. It's going to be Friday at 11 a.m. Friday. November 26th at 11 a.m. The reason I'm repeating this is because Supreme never drops Friday. Never drops Friday. We drop Thursday at 11 a.m. Due to the holiday, Friday at 11 a.m. Week 14, November 26th. Who they collabing with? Vans make her dance. Vans make her dance. All them low cut sneakers, then them ankles gonna hurt, man. If you don't see my love for Vans, yo, that was one of, not my first job ever. I had a job before, I had a couple jobs before Vans, but the first job I actually loved, and I was like, oh my God, I love the company before I even worked here. Now I'm part of the gang, 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 was Vans. So I started working there, and I found out like, oh no, nah, this is just a job, this shit's ass too. You be getting confused by the rocks that they got. Like, oh no, nah, this sneakers everywhere, I'm gonna be running the shoe block. That's one thing niggas, they ain't even play with me. Anybody that worked with me, there's a couple people probably here that worked with me at Vans or y'all seen me at Vans. If you know, you know. When you came in, you saw me all the way in the back, always holding down the sneaker shit. And if I wasn't holding the sneaker shit down, I was standing at the door just like, <laughs> I was young and handsome. Y'all think, yo, look, this is me old. Me old look young. Imagine when I was young, how I looked. I had the opposite of Benjamin Button. I always look younger than my fucking age. Like, always, always look younger. I still be getting ID'd. I'm like, yo, y'all really doing me like that? I still get id for beers and thank God I stopped smoking backwards. I smoked papers. When I used to buy backwards, I had to have my ID in my hand. They're like, you're young ass up. I guess it's a compliment when you, when you get to an old head like me and you still hitting shorty shorty no Jeezy concerts and shit. If you didn't see that video, I just uploaded that. Old Jeezy and shorty shorty hit the concert yesterday at Harvard University. It was smooth. I finally got to see Shorty Shorty. Oh, Jeezy gained a new fan. Watch that video front, front, front. Like always, y'all know I'm holding gate or I'm always close to it. But yeah, back to the Vans collab this week. And what else? My favorite candy. My two favorite things. Favorite sneaker brand. Favorite sneakers, Vans for sure. Vans, black and white, old schools. I'm telling you, over Yeezys, over if I could pick one sneaker to wear for the rest of my life, I could only pick one. I'm capping. It's probably going to be like the Yeezy 700 Vents or some shit because I could just wear black. But if in, in my mind, in my mind, I'm going, I'm going Vans, black and white, old school. And they also collab this week with Skittles. Yes, Taste the Rainbow. Skittles is collabing with Supreme. We saw sneak previews of this in the beginning of the year when you got, I don't know if you guys saw the little, like, some little, I saw some on Instagram that where people were teasing, like, the year's drop. I saw the Shrek piece. I saw one of the Skittles jerseys. I saw I saw a couple different things that were going to come out throughout the year, and then but they never told us what week or nothing, and then just disappeared like some of my friends. Once again, this is all releasing on Friday. Let's get to the first item. Supreme Skittles, parentheses, one pack. You're getting one pack. You're going to have to choose. Wild Berry or Original? Bro, everybody knows the best Skittles are definitely Wild Berry, but you, you cop the Originals, I feel you. It's the Original. You get me? You can never go wrong with the Original, but definitely if you eating these shits for like, nah, the best ones is for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, the Wild Berry. Uh... I'm gonna try to get a couple packs of these so we can eat one together. Wild Berry, Supreme, and Original. I'm gonna try to get probably like four, like two of each. Definitely, 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 definitely cop. Not only is it my favorite candy, it's my favorite brand. Like, nah, I need this Supreme going across. I, I always see people always flexing the red Oreos all the time. And I'm like, peace too. Supreme Skittles, new era beanie. I'm not gonna hold you. It's coming out in it's coming out in four colors: black, red. White, purple, not gonna hold you. And it got the new era call out right on the side. The Supreme, the Supreme Skittles bag is embroidered right on the front of it. I like the way that it's stitched right on. Like it's like a separate patch, the Supreme patch that they made like, a, and then they just stitched it onto the actual beanie. I like how they did that, no bullshit. It still gives it the real 3D bag effect of an actual Skittles bag. I like it. Now, would I cop? Probably not. 
I'm going to sit out on this one. This one we're going to have to drop. I'm going to have to sit out of this. Got the new era call out on the sides. Like, it's smooth. If you like the design, it's definitely smooth. Don't get me wrong. For me, though, I just don't see no use for it. I know I'm not ever going to wear it, so there's really no... I'm going to definitely have to skip, drop, kick, and push. <sighs> We haven't even went through the pieces and I already know this is going to be the hardest piece. We haven't even went through the pieces and I already know this is going to be the hardest piece. Supreme Skittles Mitchell and Ness Varsity Jacket. This is going to be the hardest piece, no bullshit. Releasing in a purple. This is releasing like in a, in a pastel light, light purple and a black. If you were old head like me, back in my heyday when I was a young boy and I really couldn't afford shit, I was just mad young and I used to look at OGs and rap videos. Bro, it was an era where niggas were wearing racing jackets like Home Depot, Lowe's, Domino's. M&M's, random shit, random shit. But let me tell you, when I was a child, I thought that was the flyest shit ever, ever. Now I look back, I'm like, eh, eh, eh. But at that time, and that's the vibe this is giving me, like a new age version of those racing jackets. I fuck with this heavy, I'm not even gonna hold. I do like this a lot. This is cop, copity, cop, cop, cop. Either color, whatever color you like more. Me personally, I like the black. Since we have a rainbow on it already and so many different colors on it, I don't want a color because it's fucking with my eyes. And I feel like the, the colors pop out and pop way, 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 way better on the, um, on the black due to the jacket is the same purple that you see on the rainbow so it kind of like you can see the back of it it like loses right into the jacket same with some of the skittles on the arm that black is tough supreme stitch going right across the collar huge rainbow with the supreme s inside of the skittle skittles going across with the rainbow down your right arm taste the rainbow mitchell and ness stitched in the bottom mitchell and ness supreme call out right around the band in the bottom of the jacket whole bunch of rainbow skittles on your left sleeve 94 supreme team i feel like it says yeah supreme team racing team oh it is a racing jacket see i knew it by the vibes it gives me that overhead racing jacket from my era now this is tough i'm not even gonna hold you this is tough elite i like this whole bunch of Supre skittles and shit across the top supreme original no i fuck with this i'm not even gonna hold you i like this in black a lot with the huge skittle in the bottom with the s call out i do like this i might have to cop this just off the off the strength that as a child i never got one of those lows dominoes and a whole bunch of other m m jackets and shit i might have to cop this off the strength that i missed all those jackets as a child for me it's definitely a cop i understand if some of you guys are not as excited as me that i do understand if you're not as excited as me i get it you're younger than me i get it probably like nah that shit's a little tacky i feel you for me though, there was an era where these jackets were fire and they were big ass like puffy. They weren't even like smooth like this shit. They were big ass jackets. Next piece, Supreme Skittles, Castile Cycling Gloves. Custom fit, breathable poly cycling gloves made exclusively for Supreme. You guys don't know, that's one of my favorite, favorite things to do on my pastime. Too cold right now, but like starting spring again all the way to fall, I'm biking all year. That's what I do. I bike all the time during my free time when I want to, you know, tranquility. When I want to become one with nature, I either go hiking or I go biking. Those are my two favorite things to do. And no bullshit. Both of them I started doing during COVID. These are two things that I thought I would never in my life do. Like, what the, what the fuck do I look like riding a bike to nowhere? Just riding a bike on a trail 40 miles. Like, why? Why? Why would I do something like that? Why am I walking through the forest to bump into a bear? Like, I'm in that nigga's turf. Nah, I let that nigga come outside where we at. Like, nah, I ain't going in there looking for nothing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. COVID got niggas very bored. Very bored. Me and my niggas became hikers and bikers. Like, it was lit. That's our gang right now. We hiking and biking and staying fit. Y'all be biking crazy miles. Long story short, these gloves could come fit for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Skittles is I. Right. It's tough though. Don't get me wrong. It's tough. It's tough. I'll definitely cop if the price is smooth. Just wish. I just wish it just said Supreme Originals or some shit like that. Jacket all black or all red. That would have been smooth though. Even just had the actual bag print. I don't know how I feel about that white like background. I do like how the Supremes on the thumb though. That's fire. You're saying Supreme going on the thumb as you holding, hitting your gears. Nah, that's tough. I fuck. As a cyclist, I'm gonna say it's a cop. As a cyclist, if you out here just gonna be looking like they can, you can hate me now. But I won't stop now. If you remember that video with Diddy and Nas and shit, I don't remember if Diddy had baseball gloves, but there was a time that ever where Diddy was just walking around like Wilson baseball gloves and shit. 90s, people were doing it too. Drake tried to bring it back in a couple of videos. Can't think of it off the dome, but I remember Drake chilling around with fucking batting gloves. If you're going to pull that look, that's up to you. For me, I'm definitely going to drop if I don't cycle. Now, if I'm a bike, if I fuck with bikes, even motorcycles, I, even if I fucked with motorcycles, anything like that, anything that even probably batting, bro, I don't know how good these would actually be holding the force of a 
like when that bat rattles. If you ever played fall ball, like I used to play as a kid, bro, you fucking hit the ball during the winter. I used to go up there and try to strike out. I used to get mad at myself, like, motherfucker hit the ball. What's wrong with you, nigga? My hands are zinging now. Nigga, my hands are zinging. I don't know how good these gonna be against it, but for biking, these are definitely a cop for me. Definitely a cop if the price ain't crazy. I know that that Castelli, whatever, that's an Italian brand for biking, and they're really expensive. I seen like jerseys and stuff, Supreme did. Into the sneakers, into the sneakers, into the feet. Supreme Vans old school. One thing about me, my favorite silhouette at Vans is old schools. I love old schools. High, low, I love them all. Mid, I love all old school silhouettes. Now, I used to wear Authentics. I worked there for a while, so I used to be pushing Vans. If somebody asked me like, yo, what's your, I'm like, I'm not gonna hold you. I used to love the, back when I used to work there, the black and white weren't even my favorite color. But my favorite color is still, it's probably that navy blue with that light blue. That shit was so tough. All right, so we're getting old schools. I'm not gonna lie to you. Damn, the design for these are dope. But the colorways are fucking with me. We're gonna go into, ah, uh, why do we gotta be doing something like this? Like, who's picking the colors? Is it like, we doing this on purpose? We wanna make shit pop. We want shit to look different. Like, why y'all fucking with me? There's no way your eyes thought of these colors. <sighs> Let's start going through them. First shoe, this shit just, the colorway uh, is getting me tight. Royal blue, black with white stitching, white so, white midsoles with the gray suede going on the front toe box and on the back heel with the tribal tattoo <clears throat> going around the bottom sole. No bullshit, I can even rock with that 90s tribal tattoo vibe. I could even rock with that. I could even rock with the Supreme Cola. I love the Supreme Cola actually in the back heel. That's tough. I like everything. It's just a colorway. Like this colorway looks like it should be at Shoe Depot or some shit. Like this colorway looks like it should be on sale. These are one of them colorways that we used to sell at Vans that would never move off the shelves. Four months later, my manager would come up to me and be like, yo, you think these shits is gonna move? I'm like, hell no, these shits ain't gonna move. So we would pack them shits up and send them to like the rent them outlets and shit. That's how a lot of y'all get outlet shits. It just either didn't move in stores, they discontinued that certain look for the stores, or there, people like, that's usually always it. I could think about like damages and shit too, but rarely, that's more like discounted stores. Damages and shit like that, you're gonna see that more in the discounted stores like TJ Maxx, AJ Wright, where shit like this, you're gonna see more in our outlet stores or more in like the Journey outlet stores or even even in the actual event, even in like, you could still catch them in TJ Maxx. I don't wanna say like you're not, cause we used to send shit all around. But mostly this is like the outlet, this is the outlet special right here. I'm good with this shit. Second colorway is probably, yo, this is probably the best colorway and it's still like, eh. I would cop this colorway though, no bullshit. Peach, peach interior, yellow squiggly line. The suede toe box and the, and the back heel are both black with white supreme embroidered on the back heel and the white stitching across the shoe with again the white rubber sole still had that tribal tattoo i feel like out of all the colorways this is probably the only colorway i would cop and i'm gonna say it right now out of all the colorways this is probably the only colorway i'm gonna cop first blue one i forgot to say that shit is a drop 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 unless it's gonna resell unless you're giving it as a gift i don't know i don't know what you're evil what you're up to in your free time me no i fucking hate that color it gave me a headache this color, I, I would rock. I'll cop. I just wouldn't wear these all the time. Like, these definitely wouldn't be all the time sneakers. Third colorway. Feliz Navidad. En la buenas noches. Felicidad. Ah, uh, lime green midsoles. I don't even know. It's not a lime green. Let me not say that. Pastel green interior. Throw up green interior, which the green is tough. As you guys know, I love my different shades of green. I just don't like it with, like, that maroon burgundy on this shoe. Maybe some, I don't know. I just don't like it on this shoe. And I don't like the black laces on them. Like, this shit's giving me a headache. Uh, burgundy, maroon. As you guys know, that's one of my favorite colors as well. On the suede toe box. Uh, both of these colors could have went so fire not together. And with those black laces. White supreme stitch on the back. I think that's what's fucking my eyes up. The white supreme stitch on the back with the black lace. And that tribal tattoo shit. Like, I could have lived with it if the colorway was fly. Like, if the colorway was fly, I could have lived with that tribal tattoo on the bottom. I never fucked with them shits. Never, never, like, never. I feel like if you got a tribal tattoo, your jaw should have a tram stamp. Like, y'all just go together. Yeah, these are a hard skip for me, too. No, I'm just here mad disappointed if you guys keep seeing me dragging this conversation. I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, y'all dropped the ball with the old schools. I'm good with them. Supreme Skittles. Polar, Polar Tech Jacket. Okay, okay. Polar Tech 200 Fleece with zip closure and zip hand pockets at lower front. Elastic binding at cuffs with interior elastic shock cord at heen embroidered logos and graphics on collar chest sleeves and back coming out in two colors red and black i like the colorway for both i'm not gonna lie to you 
It's just smooth too. I'm not gonna. It gives us that. It's that racing vibe again. It got Supreme and Skittles on the collars. 94, 94 in the racing car font. The red little triangle that we see on racing things, or blue if you're looking at the red one. I like it. I like that it has the Wildberry stamp on the sleeves as well. That's my favorite. That's my favorite Skittles. The Wildberry, no bullshit. And it got the racing team logo on top of it. Now, I do like this. I'm not going to lie to you. I like this one as well. It's super dope. I like it. What's the back? Back, we got Skittles Racing Team Supreme 2001 Championship Team. I'm pretty sure it's not a real racing. Not going to lie. For me, it's a cop. For me, it's a cop. If you guys do not like it, again, I completely understand. I do like that one, though. I like more, again, the black one. But either or, either or is tough. I would definitely, if I was to cop, I would only cop the black one. But I do like both. Supreme Skittles Polar Tech Pants. All right, so these are the pants that go with the tops we just reviewed. I don't like the pants. The pants, I don't I don't know. Just something about all them. It, is, it looks doper with the patches going down the sleeves all stacked up like that, the little squares. I don't know. Something about the legs. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate them. Like, I would cop if they were, like, going for under retail on, like, Supreme or somewhere, which I know they're not. But if I could was to see them on the retail somewhere, yeah, there's something I would cop. If I got them in, like, a mystery box or something, I wouldn't be heated. I would definitely rock them. Now, is this something I'm going to try to hit on Friday? No. 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 Definitely a drop for me. Both colors, red and black. Again, I don't know if we said that at first coming on two colors, but it is. The same two colors as the top. These are the pants. I'm good. You're going to look crazy as well with both of the pieces together. There's just way too much shit going on. But hey, be a dope picture. It'll be a, it'll be dope for like a photo shoot. Another pair of Supreme Vans. Half cab. You know what's crazy? I used to shit on half cabs. Like, who would wear this? When before I used to work at Supreme, I mean, before I used to work at uh, Vans, I used to shit on half cabs. Like, yo, these are the nasty. I still shit on them. Don't get me wrong. But I saw the history behind them. I actually saw the real skaters that came in the store and were like building decks and shit in the store. Always grabbed a pair of half cabs. Always, always, always. And always told me like, yo, they're the best skating shoes for like actual safety, padding and shit, which we learned. Yeah, they were like, nah, bro. These shits are legendary in the game. They're gonna protect you. They're gonna always keep you well. I used to just look at them. It's just so ugly. I hate the silhouette of them. It looks like a, like, you know when fat niggas wear Jordan 1s? This is what their Jordan 1 morphs into. Like, a, like if they're wearing mids and you wearing Jordan 1s, when a fat nigga's foot's inside. This shit looks like it already came molded with a fat, like a, a fat nigga in the factory put his foot on every, in every single sneaker and walked around in circles before they put him in the box. All right, these are good to go. Pack them up. Come on, Joey, put him on the other one. You got, you got putting this nigga's fucking 400 pound job of the hut sneakers on. And he's just, ha, 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 and puts them in the box and sends them off like that's what i'm picturing is happening in my head at van's headquarters yeah i just hate the silhouette of half cab supreme's not gonna make me like it enough for me to cop it but i know a lot of people love them so let's go over the colorways black powder blue maroon and an off-white pastel we once again got that tribal going down the bottom they all have black rubber soles but they all have that tribal tattoo in white half cab if you guys know it always has that has the patches on the side of the dude skateboarding 1992 half cab also has the 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 patch on the tongue of the sneaker as well i'm good now if you love these shoes and you're one of them dudes that like half cabs why wouldn't i grab them the colorways on these are a lot better they kind of remind me of like patrick ewan's you know the patrick ewan sneakers that's another thing like half cab like jordan ones and Patrick Ewins had sex, gave birth to these, Jabba the Hutt tried them on, and was like, nah, let me put them in the box and send them off. That's exactly what happens in my head at the fact. Two more collab pieces left. Let's take a quick second to remind the guys we're on the road to 1,000 subs. We're at like 900 and something. I can't keep up with y'all. Last time I checked, we was at like, I think, I want to say 928, unless I'm tripping, but I think I remember like 928. Channel's moving super, super, super quick. We're on the road to 1,000. Let's get this channel to 1,000. We're on the road to 1,000. Out. Make sure you turn on the notification down below. Hit the like. You know we drop videos on this channel almost every single day. And if I miss a day, you guys know some shit came up. What you want me to do? Some shit came up. So let's get back into this and finish these last two pieces. Supreme Skittles Castell. Feel like yo, you ever seen the gif with that? With the crackhead in the back of the car trying to read Balenciagas on a the sneaker? These are these are these are, these are, these are Bal Balenciagas. joggers. He ain't even say Balenci. I'm giving that nigga way too much credit. He was just talking. I don't even, I don't even know what the nigga was saying. Just crazy shit. He's like yo, these, these are foreigns, right? These are foreign they're like yeah, like, yeah that's why that's why they, 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 but then the but the but jammers the but i'm like nah this nigga is wise i feel like him trying to read bella cava bella cava all right supreme skittles castelli bella cava Cus custom fit bella cava with water resistance breathable gore-tex gore-tex poly and brush poly made exclusively for supreme yeah you see the italian flag right on there i remember they made a jersey that i didn't cop that's like one of our throwback videos i swear i talked about it with you guys like when i first started this channel and i was super tight 
that I didn't cop it at. But um, yeah, Skittles. Eh, I'm good with this just because I got a couple. I, I got the all black poo shiesty. But this shit is smooth. It comes with a bib. That's the only thing that's kind of fucking me up. I don't like the bib and I don't like that white splash in the back of your neck. Like nah, I don't know. It's too much going on. And I don't like all the Skittles everywhere. It's a little too crazy. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Once again, if you're a biker, I can see why you would cop. I'm gonna say cop again if you're a biker. If you are a biker, I'm gonna say cop. Now, if you don't bike, it's probably a skip. <sighs> Talking about bikers, talking about bikers, Supreme Skittles, Castelli, long sleeve cycling jersey. The last jersey I was just telling you guys was a cycling short sleeve jersey. It looked a lot better than this one. I'm not gonna lie to you, this one's a little funky. Yo, as a cyclist, again, custom reflex fit, breathable poly, full zip closure with rear pockets and elastic heme made exclusively for Supreme. 94 on the chest. I was born 93. If you was a 94, baby, that is tough. Supreme it has the all the brand call outs and has a Supreme box logo in red on the bottom with Skittles across the chest. Yes. Two box logo Supremes on the sleeve. Supreme going down the sleeve as well, in case you missed it, with Skittle splashes all over you. And that Castelli brand right across the collar. Nah, this is tough. I do like, again, shout outs to my bikers. If you're a biker, cyclist, I can see you having different jerseys. I can see you collecting different accessories, as I like having different accessories for biking. I'm gonna say cop once again. If you're not a cyclist and you're just trying to rock this shit to like go to the club in, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all decide. For me, it would probably be a drop. I did like their motocross jerseys, which I slacked. I didn't like it when to drop it i liked it after those would probably be something more i would rock on my free time this shit i'm a rocket on my free time if i cop it for biking don't get me wrong like i'm gonna wash this bitch and i'm wearing it as a fit one day too but the black one out yeah once again i would only cop the black red i'm a blue baby too if you guys never noticed that shit no gang affiliation civilian as you guys see here i like to make sure i make that understood but you know when you're a child as a boy you either like really you either like red green or blue like you you, you just you make a decision in your head as a kid like nah i really fuck with these colors in my head bro i just just always fucked with everything blue blue candy blue clothes blue sneakers my favorite teams are blue yankees colts like bro i don't, I don't know what it is i don't know what it is yeah all right you see look i'm getting possessed by blue face like it's just too much blue going on i'm just saying if you're a kid that loved red, you'll probably like a lot more red pieces than me. Red was one of my least favorite colors, and when I wear it as well, I don't like the color on me as well. I feel like I don't look good in red. Like, I don't know, it's weird. I like wearing greens, blacks, tans, blues, orange, brown. I love brown as well. So it just depends on the color palettes. I told you guys I'm a fall color palette. I like orange more than I like. I like orange more than I like red. You get me? There's different shades of orange that I like more than red. I like maroon as my favorite red. Like that dark burgundy, that's my favorite that family of red at that. Fire red and those bright colors like not not the biggest fan i'm not there is pieces i like there is shirts that i own there's if you were if you wore jordans my whole childhood my closet was black and red because all my sneakers was black and red but y'all know what i'm saying i'm just trying to tell you guys sometimes you're gonna hear me being ah i'm dropping that ah, i'm dropping that. you're like yo he's bugging he said only the black piece chill the red one's tough to each his own guys that is a wrap up of what we have so far for week 14. We were supposed to get more pieces. I'm shocked on why I haven't got the actual Supreme non-collab pieces yet. The reason I'm thinking we haven't got it is because the drop got pushed to Friday. So remember, the drop is going to happen now Friday, not Thursday. Thanksgiving weekend though, got a busy weekend ahead of me, so we still had to stay on schedule and get this in on Tuesday. Make sure you comment down to the channel. We're on the road to 1,000. If you have any questions, comment down below. Also, comment down below, what piece did you like? You saw what I like. The real shit that I fucked up, I'm not gonna hold you, is that black varsity jacket and the Supreme Skittles, the actual candy. Those are my two favorite pieces. Two favorite pieces of the week that I've seen so far. Supreme regular candies and that varsity jacket. If I can cop both of those together, I will be a happy camper. If I can cop both of them together, I'll be a happy camper. I told you guys, I lived my childhood and drug dealers on my block wearing Home Depot racing jackets and dominoes and shit. Them shits is fire. Nigga got a CVS racing jacket. Oh my God. Today I look back like, nah, that was that was, that was was wild times. But this does bring me back to it. And there's things in life that I cop now that I'm able to. Because as a child, I just didn't have the means or the funds or a way to convey to my parents. Like, yo, chill, I need that. I need that Domino's hoodie, bro. I need that Domino's racing hoodie. It was hard to explain that. I need a $300 babe hoodie. It was hard to explain that. I tried to explain to my mom one time that I need a Tisa. A Tisa snapback. If any of y'all remember snapback like 110 dollars for a hat that i want I, I think it was like it was like 80 to 100 that i want i wanted a hat and a hoodie that she was gonna come out to like two something and my mom was always the man she always kept me fly everybody went to school me always knew i had all the kicks i had all that shit shout out to my moms my dad always caught me clothes my mom always caught me all the kicks but when it came to Tisa, and my mom caught me on my snapbacks too when I was a young boy. Before working, I'm talking about before working day. And before I was even doing my high movie shit, making money that way. Like, young boy day. I've been fly ever since ever. But, yeah, there was an era that I wanted Tisa. Bro, I showed my mom the hoodie. 
and the hat. She wants to smack. She wants to smack me through the phone. Smack me through the phone. Smack me through the phone. She's like, 110 for a hat. I was like, yo, but look. She's like, what's the difference with the hat you got? Cause I always had a collection in my wall of mad hats. I used to do that in my room, like pin the fucking hats to my room wall when I was a young boy. I was like, mom, it's different, cause they're actually real, 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 real retros. Even though I'm getting real retros and shit, like all my shits is real retros. But it has an embroidery that says Tisa on the side. Chill, chill. I that with the Tisa hoodie, I never got Tisa. I'm probably the only dude still in 2021 that if I see a Tisa hat and hoodie, I'm copping. I'm copping it off the strength that I never was able to wear it before, bro. I'm wearing a Tisa hoodie and listening to Chris Brown and Tigers, fan of a fan, the first album. That's what I'm doing. Like, I'm sitting in my car and I'm doing that because I could do that now. I'm sitting in my car doing that because I could do that now. Get me in my bag. Let's get out of here. Like, I love to say until then, but like we love to say, you get me in my bag, you get me in my bag. I need to calm down, I need to calm down. <sighs> But, like, you know, I love to say until the next one. We out of here. Also, 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 real quick. If you notice, I stopped yelling peace and doing all that shit at the end of my video. I be watching mad YouTubers. Like, them little gang videos. Uh, Hip Hop Daily. Swamp Stories. One of them niggas always yell peace at the end of their videos. And I was like, damn, that shit corny as fuck from my side of the camera. So, I know for y'all niggas are probably like me. Peace. They're like, yo, little Uzi, relax. Relax, little Uzi. When I started hearing one of these niggas, I was like, nah, bro, I gotta cut that shit out of my. I want to smack that nigga through the, through the video, and I love his videos. The reason I watch, the reason I can tell you these things, cause I watch these videos every day. Not shitting on the niggas' videos, I'm just shitting on the peace at the end of the videos. Peace. <laughs>